What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Real Reaping TV. Today we're getting into sumps, what they are, how they're important, and how I have mine set up on the 300 gallon reef. So sumps are basically just a place where you have a reservoir of water where your um, water flows through from your main display down into a uh, either a tank or um, we like to call a sump. A lot of them are custom made to be specifically that. It doesn't have to be. It can be just a tank or any reservoir of water below your tank that you can store your filtration, your mechanical, your chemical, and, um, and other types of biological filtration can run through this sump and then be pumped back up to the main display, filtered and ready to go. So sumps are important because we wanna hide all the bulky filtration that it takes to keep our tanks clean. So water will come down from our main display and typically run through some mechanical filtration first. Secondly, we'll have it then run through some type of chemical filtration. We'll also like to get, get it passed through a skimmer, which basically chops up air, keeps it in a chamber with the water so that the proteins and the fish guck gets uh, kind of floated up towards the top and then spills over into a cup and is collected. That way those nutrients are removed and those, those nasties are removed from our tanks. And all of this happens down inside and you can down inside your stand and you can keep it completely closed off so you don't have to see all of that filtration. Now you could get around it, you could use, you don't have to use a sump, you could use a um, you know hang on the back filter or one of those whisper filters, but it's just not efficient and it's also you know, very um, unsightly. We don't want to see all those things when we're looking at our corals and fish. We want to just be able to, um, you know, take a look at the beauty that's inside our tanks and not the filtration. So I'm going to give you a look around my sump, how I have it set up, how I got it, and, um, and you know, maybe it gives you guys some inspiration that you can use on your sumps. The inspiration for my sump came from the Aquion Pro Flex sump. And that is that the water comes down from the main display into a tube and that water rises up and then down in through the filter socks. Then goes to a next chamber which is um, the skimmer chamber and then finally the final chamber which is the return pump. Now, mine is a little bit different, but it kind of runs off of that same concept. Now, I know I've shown this in other episodes, but basically, the water will come down in this first chamber here, which is completely walled off. After that, it rises up and drops through the filter socks. Then goes to the other chamber, then runs into the rest of the sump. The rest of the sump has my bubble maga skimmer and the return pump in it. So I bought my sump for about 40 bucks a little over a year ago and man, you know, it just didn't have exactly what I wanted. Really all it had was one baffle in it and that's just not what I was looking for. However, it had the bones for what I was looking for. Now it was just clear acrylic um, with one baffle in it. And so I thought, well, what if I took that one baffle and then made kind of like a shelf with the holes in it so that the socks could fit down in and then wall it off down from there so the water could come into that first section, rise up, go down through the filter socks and then into the rest of the, uh, the sump. And then I thought I'd put another couple baffles in and that was a great idea for a little while except for when you get started getting to build it. Now when I was starting to build it, I made sure that I got measurements of my equipment. I already had my skimmer, I already had my return pump um, at that point, I was running a bio pellet reactor as well. I'm not anymore. But I took measurements of the footprints of the equipment that I was running and took like a, just a little sharpie and kind of marked out exactly where um, you know those pieces of equipment were going to sit inside of the uh, the sump. And I just didn't have room to sacrifice you know an extra three to four inches for the proper spacing of the baffles. It just didn't make sense. Now I haven't had an issue with any micro bubbles up in the tank and also on the sharpie marks if you're thinking man he's probably got a bunch of sharpie marks in the bottom. No I don't. Actually acetone 
we'll go ahead and just wipe right up um, any of the uh, um, any of the Sharpie marker and doesn't leave behind any residue because it dries like that. So pro tip for you. Also, I use Krylon paint to paint the outside of the sump to give it that nice look that I was going for with the red and the white to match the plumbing pieces that I have going on with the uh, red elbows and things like that. So I painted the sides and the bottom of it white. That way I could see any sort of detritus buildup that was going on down there. And then the back of it red. So it gives a nice pop. It's exactly what I'm looking for um, in the sump. So now it's not only functional, but it looks great too. Do you guys have any questions about the sump that I have? If you do, make sure you drop those in the comments below. You like the video, it, if it brought any sort of knowledge to you, smash that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done to, you know, slam on that. Stay tuned, stay salty, keep it real, peace.